Remember that sets don't have any notion of order. Sometimes we do care about what order things are in. But that's where sequences come in. A sequence is a function from some subset of the natural numbers to some other set where instead of writing a parentheses n for the output of the function, we write a sub n instead. Here's an example of a sequence. We have the sequence a sub n, which starts at n equals 0 and goes all the way up to infinity, meaning that the sequence doesn't end, where the first term of the sequence is 8, the next term is 11, 14, 17, 20, and then so on. Looking at it from the perspective of the function, we have the set of natural numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., where 0 is mapped to 8, 1 is mapped to 11, 2 is mapped to 14, 3 is mapped to 17, 4 is mapped to 20, and so on. That's where the way the function works. And in fact, you can write down the closed form expression for this sequence. Notice that each term increases by 3, so our sequence is going to have a 3n in it. And then since the first term is 8, it's going to be 3n plus 8. So this is called the closed form expression for the sequence. Not every sequence has a closed form expression, or sometimes the closed form expression is very difficult to find. Take, for example, the famous Fibonacci sequence of fn's starting at 0, going forever, where the sequence is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. Take a minute, try to find the closed form expression for the fn, and you're going to see that you have a hard time doing so. But what you might have noticed is that each term in the Fibonacci sequence can be written as the sum of the two terms preceding it. So rather than try to write down a closed form expression for the terms of the sequence, we can instead write down something called a recurrence relation that lets us express fn in terms of the previous terms of the sequence. For example, fn is equal to fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 so long as n is greater than 1. n is equal to 1 when n is 1, and fn is equal to 0 when n is 0. Remember, you have to specify what the first two terms are before you can calculate the third one. And notice here is yet another application of recursion.